Well, let's reset the scene a little bit here because we had a terrific fight in the Omar Shaker fight. A little bit of a lackluster uh, heavyweight fight, but we saw the interesting fight. We're thrilled to be here in the Oneida Nation uh, arena where we're going to see at least two great names do battle, and we're just hoping it could be a terrific fight. Well, you know what's happened in this arena, I think, is the fact that this capacity crowd and all the famous people that are here from the world of boxing has injected a certain energy here. And yes, everybody is wondering at what skill level with the, will these two women fight. Many people have not seen these women fight before, even though Layla and uh, Jackie Frazier have had between them 16 fights. They're wondering like the rest of us. Well, you know something? Uh, when you see these two names that will be forever linked together, we're all hoping that it'll be a terrific fight. I know that's why you folks have tuned in, and that's what we hopefully uh, we'll see before the night's over. But you know something else? It's Hall of Fame weekend here, and Al, I don't know if you have the same electricity in your sure. bones. I know you love boxing as much as I do, but I really feel like it's like a heavyweight championship fight with the electricity and the buzz that's been going around, and part of that is because of the great job they've done to promote the fight. Well, you can hear it. You can hear it. You can even, I hope, through the lenses, and uh, you can hear and feel going on here it, the big names that people have been able to mingle with and it's a very intimate atmosphere here when they see the Aaron Pryors and the Sugar Ray Leonard's and the Joe Frazier's of course uh, people have gotten very excited about this and I will state again that what's important for this fight and what will make it a reasonably successful evening is if Jackie Frazier and Layla Ali can fight to a certain level make it competitive and bring out the juices in these people that will flow when they think of their own loyalties be for a Frazier or an Ali. And let's be honest, this is very important to women's boxing because if it isn't the type of fight that we hope to see and expect to see with high skill in the boxing aspect, it could be bad for women's yeah, boxing. Yeah, it could be, but I think we have to set the record straight. The fact of the matter is these two fighters are well known. Leila Ali's ranked fifth in her weight division. These are not the two best women boxers in the world. There are many, many, many with a skill level that are higher. So no matter what happens here this evening, and by the way, remember Leila Ali, is a 23 year old who's still learning her craft there are women boxers that can put on a good show so if they fail a little bit tonight I think it's not a death knell for women's boxing clearly they would like to perform well and they would like it to be a catapult for women's boxing Well, uh, the big thing is is that we have a feature coming up for you on Ali Asia. Uh, we talked about so many times how those names were uh, uh, linked and they had uh, some activity in Syracuse so we're going to go to that feature very shortly for you. I think you'll enjoy meeting Ali and Frazier one more time. So without further ado, let's go to that feature for you. A trip to the mall, not to shop. Hi, how are you? The female boxers with legendary last names signing anything eager fans can get their hands on. Thank you very much. It takes an entire shopping center to hold these ladies and the trash there, talk, 8, the pre-fight punches flying out of their mouths. Mark my words, you will not see no more Jackie Frazier after I whoop on her. She's overdone. The disappearance is about to happen. This is a woman versus a girl situation, so I'm going to give all the young girls something to look forward to when they get around 39, 40. The crush of cameras, some for television, some for the scrapbook. It's the personalities they've come to see attitudes getting analyzed. I think Jackie has kind of taken the role of Muhammad Ali as more the aggressor, you know, loudmouth, trash talk, where Layla has taken the other way of Joel Fraser, kind of quiet, you know, and I'll do my talking with my fists. Even for a trip to school, they arrive like rock stars to international media and the young fans gathered for a few minutes and a message. For all her talk about beating on Jackie, Layla tones her message down, saying fights are meant for the ring. Don't judge each other because you don't ever know what the person next to you is going through. You know what I mean? So you can't ever try to feel like you know what's going on in their head. You know, somebody might be walking with their head down because something's going on personal at home with their family. And people be like, look at her, she thinks she, you know, she, she thinks she's better than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Jackie Frazier lied down and dirty at a high school, an arm wrestling match with the principal. The real muscle in her message, life is a battle, the gloves are off, and it's time to fight negative attitudes. No matter what's going on in your life, if you have illness, if you have a disability, if you're too good looking, people hate you. If you're too ugly, they're going to hate you. So you just be happy with who you are and be 
uh, you know, positive about that. It has been a week-long war of words. Both women saying they take their celebrity role model status seriously, as serious about the future of all women's sports as they are about putting a hurting on each other during the fight. At least we can see now the personality of the two women oh, that sure. are involved and how uh, brilliant and intelligent Jackie Frazier is and the personality of an Ali. I don't think it'll change no matter whose first name is there, Al. No, that's for sure. And, you know, Jackie Frazier Light has maybe been the surprise of this whole promotion as we've gone on. Everybody knew she, she's an attorney, and uh, clearly we all knew that she was an interesting and articulate woman, but I think she's even surpassed the expectations of those people that were trying to get people interested in this fight. And I think she saw a good opportunity for herself at the age of 39, and I think that was her initial reason for beginning to train to try and become a boxer. We live in a society of cross-promotion, and I think she figured out that once she got on the public stage, she might have something to offer, and I think that's what that was all about. That's why, leading up to this fight, she's been very active and very public. Now, some have said, maybe too public, and is she prepared for what's going to happen inside that ring? We've seen it with other athletes as well, where they've been distracted, maybe as recently as Lennox Lewis against Asim Rachman. That's a question some people have. Well, all week long, we've heard Frazier Ali, Ali Frazier. There was a third guy that was pretty prominent during those years. Too. Before the thriller in Manila, there was the rumble in the jungle in Zaire where Muhammad Ali fought George Foreman. Frida Foreman is also a fighter, and she's in line. Any comment on her, Al? Go figure. Yet another daughter of a famous heavyweight fighter. Well, that is the case with Frida Foreman. She's very much like these other two ladies. She's she's also a little younger than Jackie Frazier Lai, but she is in her embryonic stages in this boxing game. But, and this is just a fact of life, because she has a famous father, because we now have two daughters of famous fathers fighting she feels it's a chance for her to get a major match and people will say the same thing if she fights the winner of this they'll say well there's other deserving women's boxers and maybe this isn't appropriate and they may be right but the fact of the matter is because we remember george foreman and because frida foreman who also by the way is a compelling personality if she gets a fight it may create the same kind of buzz hey guess what folks we have frida foreman dave bontempo has it dave take it away okay bob Frida, what do you think of the family feud going on here? Oh, it's great. History is being made in a matter of minutes. This is awesome. I hope everybody out there is getting ready. I'm excited. Now, what do you think? The idea, it's natural. The foreman, the Ali, the phrase, your names already. Maybe whether you want to or not, you're being propelled into the talk. Well, yes. you know, we're going to have a circuit, and Frida's going to be in it. How do you feel about that? I feel wonderful. I feel great to be a part of this um, this trilogy going on. Ali, Frazier, Foreman. This is awesome. This is the best thing that happened to boxing, in my opinion. How did your dad relate to this? Oh, he loves it. Right now, my dad is home watching this fight. He's a very supportive of these women. He's a, I think he's one of the top female boxing fans out there. Uh, how many buys did he make on this pay-per-view tonight? He made sure everybody in the family was out there watching. It's hard to tell. We do come from a family of four brothers and five sisters, so it's <laughs> a lot of us. Now, what about your own fighting style? What do you think you've picked up on and improved a lot in the last year, and what do you want to pick up on some more? Definitely my jab. My jab is my greatest asset, and I hope to perfect it more and more. And, um, one, you know, my jab, all in one, summed up. Get it, get it going. Now, get it going. they're going to try to get you to fight immediately. Do you want that, or do you want to work on a few things first? Tonight is Ali Frazier. This is their night. Ali Frazier 4. I'm looking to grow and get me a title. I have a lot of boxing skills. I'm on the road um, trying to, you know, gather. But hopefully it will be a title one day. We'll be climbing in the ring defending again. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Hey, is this an osmosis thing? You, you grow up, you have a famous father for a fighter. It oh, just kind of rubs off on you. Great. I love it. I love it. It's in the blood. I've always watched my father fight, and I've always dreamed of stepping in the ring just as he did. When did you get the book? I think I've had it forever. He's always said, now, Frida, you know, calm down. He's always said, don't, don't add your on. But I couldn't contain myself. I had to go for it. I had to do it. What finally pushed you over the top and made you go? Oh, watch. I guess these, watching these girls do it, I, I always knew I could do it. But I have to say they were a great motivation to me. Do you get chills, too, when you think about those famous fights and the rumble in the jungle and oh, yeah. Zaire and everything? Yes. I've always watched them. It just, it just felt, even being here right now, I'm getting those jitters and those I'm nervous for both of them tonight. How about the fighters? How do you see this fight unfolding? 
Well, it's, it's hard to say. Ali has really proven herself. Frazier has definitely proven herself. Both of these girls are great and they are full of passion. So this fight can go either way. Both of them are full of heart. And I'm proud of them both. Do you see the styles of their fathers in the girls? Definitely do. They both, all of the fathers had great power. And these girls have proven to show they have power as well. Women's boxing a couple of years ago was on the verge of a major breakthrough. Stuff going on every week. It stayed back a little bit. Do you feel that uh, this can be another catapulting step for it? This is definitely an enhancing step for women's boxing. I think this is exactly what women's boxing needs. It couldn't come at a greater time than now. This is exactly the stepping stone it was um, moving for. Frida, thank you for stopping by. Best thank of luck. And back to Bob and Al. All right, thank you, and a nice interview with a very lovely lady and a pretty good fighter. Coming up, Ali and Frazier. Frazier and Ali, four. the Turning Stone Casino Resort, the Oneida Indian Nation, and the beautiful arena here of the Oneida Nation. That's Joe Frazier in the foreground there. You heard from Frida Foreman. Larry Goosen was standing behind her, uh, part of the Goosen, 10 Goose, uh, I don't know if they still call it that anymore, but uh, certainly Joe Goosen, who trains a lot of fighters, and his uh, brother uh, have done a terrific job, and Dan uh, promoting. Well, let's talk about this fight, Al. Leila Ali and Jackie Frazier live. We take a look at the tail of the tape. Clearly, a much younger Leila Ali and a, a taller Leila Ali with a very slight height and reach, but she fights taller, and Jackie Frazier Light fights shorter, so we'll see that. In women's boxing, of course, two minute rounds, not three minute rounds. There is a 10 point must, three judges score, and uh, so on. And as you see, before the end of the fourth round, if there would be a clash of heads and they would go to the, the scorecards, there would be no contest. They would not go to the scorecards. If there's a Due to a clash of heads at the end of the fourth round, we would go to the scorecards. So the stage is just about set. All we have to do is have the appearance of the fighters. Remember, both of these ladies are undefeated. And it's kind of interesting, the styles. We've talked about it as we set the stage for you. The power of Frazier Lide and the boxing ability of Layla Ali. Just like Ali and Frazier when the men fought Muhammad and Joe. The music comes up. And the entrances are underway. Who's this making the first appearance, Al? Can you see? Yeah, that's Jackie. Jackie Fraser live coming in, the 39-year-old attorney. You see her fight the last time, beating Buck Hoffman, knocking her out in the first round. She has two knockout wins in the first round in her last two fights. That's Marvis Fraser, her brother, who is bringing her in, who is her trainer. He, of course, was a heavyweight of note himself. It's worth noting that she has spent less time as a boxer than Layla Ali, though she has seven wins and Ali has nine. The difference is a little more than that because she only got into boxing really once she saw Layla Ali starting to make her move and understood that everything she did as a 39-year-old was focused for tonight. It's not focused for two years down the road. It's not focused for title matches. It was focused to get for herself and then fight tonight so this is her moment let's see how well she performs remember this is scheduled for eight rounds and Jackie Frazier Lyde has never been beyond four rounds in a career in fact she's had only 15 professional rounds of boxing in the career but as Al said she's a genuine athlete an excellent basketball player at American University scored over 4,000 points and uh, they, it, for those that don't know about women's boxing most of the women's box women boxers come from other sports. They, they, a lot of them come from kickboxing, but a lot come from track or basketball, where they realize they want a more uh, combative sport, and they get into the sport. How could this be such a great promotion? Look at this young lady. A lawyer, brilliant at uh, handling the publicity. She's one of 11 children of Joe Frazier, and she's the mother of three and married to Big Pete Lyde, who's the co-promoter, along with uh, Layla's uh, husband, Johnny McClain. So it's really been a family affair. But it won't be a family affair when the bell rings. Now that's for sure. And uh, 
She'll be facing, Jackie Frazier Lide will be facing a woman who is a little taller, who has a few more boxing skills, I think everyone agrees. And I think the consensus among people is that the onus is on Jackie Frazier Lide a little bit more than Ali to show that she's improved the level of her performance. And there, in fact, is Layla Ali, the 23-year-old who comes in here with the win over Christine Robinson and who, along with her husband, Johnny McClain, have kind of piloted this, the business part of this promotion to a great extent. And, you know, to some extent, they've been criticized for it, and I think unfairly. You've got the name, you have an ability to generate the buck. This is entertainment, this is sports. I think they've done a magnificent job, and I credit to Johnny McClain and Layla Ali for capitalizing. There's a lot of people that get an opportunity in life, and they do nothing with it. This isn't the case here. And if we get a good fight on top of it, it's going to be a terrific night, folks. The good boxer. She must avoid, by the way, being dragged into a brawl with Jackie, because Jackie is a quick starter. In two fights, she's had first-round stoppages in four of seven of her first fights. You know, she uh, just started really in a hurry, and that's what she wants to do. That was Johnny McClain, her husband, walking back. He looked a little bit stressed about something, and she is a little delayed in getting to the ring here. So I don't know what the story is with this. She may just be... Johnny McClain coming forward, who himself, by the way, was a, uh, a pretty good fighter, good cruiserweight. An actor, too. You were in a... I was in a, I was in a show with him, Cover Me, the uh, series, and he did a nice job in that show. That familiar face, by the way, that you see with the Navy officer's hat on is uh, Cassius Green. Dub Huntley also works the corner of Layla Ali. Coming out with Marvis Frazier with Val Colbert and Sam Hickman, who handles cuts, should Jackie be cut. That's Cassius the familiar figure that worked with so many fighters over the course of the years. Here she is, Layla Ali. Now the national anthem will be played by in the ring while the fighters are in the ring and sung by Maxine Jones. And we'll have all of that color for you. Look at the stare down here. Look at this. Out. Get in the mouth. That's your point. Get in the mouth. How different, if you want to juxtapose something to the past, in a way, it was Frazier doing the smiling and the preening and Ali being serious. Wasn't it different in the old days? I think it was just the opposite with Joe and Muhammad. We're just about set to go. I think our ring announcer has moved into position. He's Dean Stone, and as soon as we're set, we'll go to him. Without further ado, take it, Dean. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to please rise as we pay tribute to the great United States of America with the singing of our national anthem. We're pleased to have this evening from En Vogue, Miss Maxine Jones.
Casey. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Turning Stone Casino Resort, Verona, New York. Absolute Boxing, in association with So Real Communications, present our featured bout of the evening. Sanctioned by the Oneida Indian Nation Athletic Commission, Chairman Clint Hill, Co-Chairman Bill, Bill Fournier, Commissioners Art Pierce and Michael Cook, Executive Director Kevin O'Toole, Positions at Ringside, Dr. Armin Sincata, Dr. James DiCastro, Dr. Santo Dufino, and Dr. Peter Haratatos. The timekeeper at the bell, Barbara Nagel. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Don Ackerman, Frank Adams, and Tommy Hicks. After the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Robert Fenaki. And now for all the boxing fans in attendance here at the Turning Stone Casino Resort Verona and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. The moment is now. This is our main event of the evening. Eight rounds of super middleweight boxing as the daughters of two ring legends go toe to toe in Ali Frazier, Frazier Ali Four. Wearing white and black, weighing 160 and three quarter pounds. From Los Angeles, California. Her professional record, it's an excellent one. Nine bouts, nine victories with eight coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Layla, she be singing Ali. Corner, wearing black and white, weighs in at 164 pounds. From the fighting city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, her professional record, a perfect 7-0 with all of her wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the lady known as Sister Smoke, Jackie Frazier Live! Okay, ladies, we went over the rules earlier. You know, you know what's expected. Any questions from this corner? This corner. Okay, ladies, touch them up. Touch them. Okay, back to your corners. All right, so we're set to go. I got yeah, the I know it's only Frazier and Lee's daughters, but I tell you, this is exciting. These girls with the stand on, they've trained hard for this. Well, they both predict knockouts. They're both undefeated. Somebody's going to be wrong. Somebody may be right. We'll Ali decked out the white in the black. Jackie Frazier line. Ali goes to the first jab, touches her up. Jackie Frazier trying to make a brawl out of her. Of course, Leila Ali wants to avoid a brawl early. One of the bad things for Jackie Frazier is she's standing too straight up right now. Landing well on the inside, but she needs to bend a little more at the waist if she's going to be effective and escape the jab and straight right hand of Leila Ali. At 39 years old, the athlete Frazier Live trying to force the fight a little bit more right now. She loads up a shot and comes short of it. And now she holds the arm of Ali and Abba Ali, punching after the bell. Well, after the break, she... Uh, after the shot. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, one thing that uh, Frazier Live has been able to do is kind of get Layla Ali already into a little bit of more of a scrappy match here and take her out of the, you know, outside game she would like. And it's Frazier trying to load up shots, and you know what, Ali's hanging right in there with her. But let me tell you what Joe Frazier's daughter's doing. She's throwing that left hook, and it's landing, and if she can keep landing it, Layla Ali's got a problem. She's landing some hellacious hooks on the inside. And the opponent she's had so far, she hasn't been hit like this. With this kind of power, loads up the right hand, does Jackie Frazier Lide. Frazier Lide nails her again, Jackie inside. Trying to show some boxing skills with Layla Ali. She's got to wither this early, early storm. Remember, they're only two-minute rounds, so there's only 30 seconds to go in this first round. A very aggressive first round. And, you know, a lot of this is nerves and adrenaline. 
We'll see who settles in in the second round. Can that get big, the job done better? The big looping right hand by Fraser Live. Right hand catches Ali. Bangs on top of the head. Kind of an awkward right hand, though. Yeah, but what it does is it sets up the hook by um, Jackie Frazier. Interesting that she's landing so many right hands. Joe told us in the interview, didn't he? He said to Dave on top of, no, no, my daughter throws the right too. Hey, fun round of boxing. The crowd likes it here. It's a 10-point must scoring system. I think you got to get Frazier. Here is Jackie Frazier trying to work on the inside. And that, of course, if that's reminiscent of her dad holding behind the head, I guess she learned that trick from Muhammad because he used to do it a lot during the course of his fight. All right, the adrenaline rush in the first round. I thought that perhaps Jackie Frazier got the best of the first round, but Layla keeping her self under control. The intriguing thing here is we talk about the hook and she's throwing it, but right from Jackie Frazier's getting in. She does slap with that punch a lot and clearly it diminishes its power. Now there's Layla Ali doing what I think would bode well for her. Little movement. She should be using the jab, using her height and reach, and that's what she wants to do in this fight. Trying to move side to side. Jackie's right on top of again. Wailing away on the inside now is Ali. Hanging on and holding with one arm and wailing with the other. That was a trademark of He'd hold that hand right up over the head and use the other hand. Get caught with the left hand that time, did Layla? Both women are landing some pretty solid shots here. Oh, there's a big left by Jackie. The heads came together. Hey, I'll tell you what, Al, so far it's a fight. Well, it's been very interesting and exciting. And while the technique is not perfect, it's been good enough to make it interesting. A good left hand by Layla Ali. That was one of the heaviest landed by Layla to this point. Both girls have set such a pace for this fight that there's a bit of fatigue factor right here, and they're both extremely well trained for this fight. Now, Jackie Fraser said she was going to use her jab more. She hasn't used it much, but she's been able to get inside without using the jab, and once she's there, it's done some effective work. Layla trying to take that big looping right hand away by grabbing on with her own left hand and tying Jackie up and seeing what she can do with the right hand. Jackie comes forward. Her legs are a little tired right now. Some movement by Ali would be beneficial. She's giving it to us. Frazier very short with those right hands. They're both so determined. They're both uh, really in a war right now. Look at this. Ali's showing some strength in there, though. When it's a fight on the outside, it clearly benefits Layla Ali. On the inside, Frazier's gotten some things done. Another fun round, and the crowd's into it. That one a little too call for me. I thought that the Frazier might have landed more in the first, but then the second uh, really even up by Layla. We take a look at the right hand getting in from Jackie Frazier. Pushes that punch a lot, and there's Layla with a very good counter right hand. You see the punches of Layla Ali generally a little straighter, but the hook by Frazier, of course, that's the signature punch of her dad, and she thinks of herself as well. Good straight right hand by Layla Ali from the outside where she's a little more effective. Here we go, round three. Layla Ali in white. Jackie Frazier lied in the black. And the pace now, they're trying to be more of a boxing match right now. It's been the ears back and let the leather fly in the first two rounds so far. By the way, Tina Ortegon and uh, Valerie Mahood are the world champions by two of the three organizations in this weight class. They're watching this and they're thinking, okay, maybe I could get in with one of these women. And even though I have the championship, make some money. We'll see. 
Well, of course, this is Ali and Frazier, and that's what it's all about tonight. Jackie hangs in there trying to land a power shot. Layla trying to be the better boxer. And she is, Al, as you pointed out, she has uh, more skill in, in her crisp punches, and it's all determination for Frazier Live. That's basically it. And we see a little turning of the tide here because Layla Ali is getting the punching distance. Somebody lost a mouthpiece in there, and I'm not quite sure who it was. Layla was doing most of the throwing. Right, now, let's go, real quick. And let's go. evidently Jackie's mouthpiece came out because it went to that corner. Let's go. As Layla has about a minute to go here let's in the go. third round. And that's a bit of a break, I think, for Jackie, who's the older of the two. Now the mouthpiece is in and we're ready to go. Time is back in. And now Ali really outboxing her. Because Jackie Frazier is standing too upright and relying much too much on just that, throwing that right hand. She should have been trying to throw the left hook, which landed very well in the first round. And there we see when she cranks that punch, she can land it. Layla doing a good job of keeping her at bay right now. And that's what she has to do with that left hand. There she is, hanging the hand like you know who. And clearly, while they're, what's lacking in technique is not lacking in desire or effort by these two women. Well, we wanted to see a fight that was a fight, and that is for sure what we have. And, and you know, we're not going to beat the technique to death because they're both young in their careers as boxers. Nice shots being landed by Ali. Ali hits her three, four times. Jackie a little staggering. Back on her heels. Good left hook by Leila Ali. It's not her major punch, but she can throw it. But we're out of time in the third round. There's the bell. That's an Ali round. Good left hook and straight right. She's showing you the nice hand speed and combinations that we have seen from time to time in her early career. And Jackie Frazier Light showing you some toughness as she is nailed with these shots. And Marvis Frazier, you heard him in Jackie's corner saying, jab, jab, and then throw the straight right hand. I don't think she's going to do that. She tries to do it, Al, as she starts off the round. Leila Ali clearly quicker with her jab and has more in her arsenal where Jackie Frazier Light just likes to load up her shots. She's trying to do what Marvin told her to do with that jab. She's thrown it three times so far here in round number four. Layla waiting a little bit now to open up. Has that nice straight jab, another jab by Layla. She hangs the hand low, catches her inside, digs with the body, back upstairs. Boy, these girls do have determination. See, and there's where Jackie Frazier can get some right. good done. She's starting now to load up on the hook, and that's really, I think, what Marvin should have reminded her of. Both women, of course, would be looking at them very carefully in terms of conditioning. Jackie Frazier has never gone right past four rounds. Leila Ali has been six. Right. Frazier looked a little tired coming out this round, but then she had a pretty good series there. But these are, right. you know, I mean, just all out two minutes of really hustling for both ladies. So uh, they're a tough two minutes. There Frazier used the jab, but it was Ali doing some excellent work on the inside. Big right by Frazier, though. Frazier scores a power punch, but it's Ali that lands more punches. And you see, I think the age has something to do with it because Jackie, you know, when she expends a lot of energy, she kind of wheels around the ring a little right. bit, meaning the legs. And they say that's the first to go for any athlete. Well, and she hasn't also had many rounds of uh, actual boxing right. competition. Step back, step back. Layla Ali being sharper with her punches right now. The left hook gets through, spins ahead of Ali. Ali seems to love it when they tie one arm up and let the other one flail and try to beat him in the punch. You know why? Because she's quicker around. You know, Jackie Fisher is not at a long time in boxing. She's one of those many women boxers that you look at and say, it's a shame she got into the sport so late. 
she just needs work on this technique. When she does it right, she does it well. If not, she doesn't do it right all the time. The bell ends the fourth round, and once again, we see the hand speed of Layla Ali. A very effective round for Ali. And she's happy with that round, you can tell. in the last round. Now there is Frazier using the jab, but Ali coming in and being very effective on the inside. Good hand speed. Consistently throwing that right hand. And then a right hand by Jackie Frazier. But clearly the amount of punches landed in that round favors Ali. And she landed some, some big shots as well. And, you, the, and that's what we hope for. We got it. We got it. We got it. And that's what Al likes, the left hook. That's Great it. left hand, good shot that time. It's the one punch that Frazier has shown she can get some power into. Break! Break! And now conditioning it. They got her attention, Al, that's for sure. Both women, you don't need me to tell you this, but the pace has slowed down a bit as Ali throws both hands. She squares up her shoulders a bit when she throws both hands. That's a 39-year-old who has never been past four rounds, and here in round eight, he and Leila Ali are engaging in a wild brawl. I mean, give her credit. She's a world-class athlete from basketball. This is a lot of different sport. Jackie Frazier, a lot of credit. She looked out of this fight three rounds ago. Now she's very much in it and probably won this last round. Oh, and there's the hook again. Another good left hook. It's almost over. All right. It's just it was an excellent battle. I had it a draw when it was all over. Excellent comeback by Jackie Frazier. You know, Layla Ali had shown a lot with the fights of, like, say, Kendra Linhart fighting girls who were taller than she was. We saw the grit of Jackie Frazier. She fought an inside battle. They both had to extend themselves tonight, and they did. I had at one point to... And Judge Don Ackerman sees the contest. 77-75 for your winner by majority decision, Layla. ...fight like her, but they weren't doing quite like as wild as she was, you know, so it's always a little bit of a surprise when you actually get in there with the person you're fighting. Now, you mentioned that she was a little tougher than you thought. She took a lot of big shots, and she uh, cranked up some pretty good shots, too. I didn't really get to drop my bonds because she was always...